What's up, everybody? Rat Tail here, and we are back in none other than the Tape Dungeon, as you can see. And this video, we're going to be focusing on giving you guys a quick little tour of the Tape Dungeon. So this is where this is my room. This is uh, built in some shelving here, and we've got about I don't know how many. I think about a thousand or so up there in the room as a whole. There's about ten thousand. And you'd say, how is that possible? Well, there's lots of boxes going on. We got boxes there. There's boxes under that table. There's tapes on top of those tapes. There's bags. There's boxes on top of boxes. All kinds of boxes, tapes everywhere. The closet is jam-packed full of tapes. There's at least 10,000 in here, possibly more. I've been, I haven't done a count in a while. It's a little overwhelming, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to show it to you guys. And hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. So... Here we go. All right, guys. So what better place to start the tour than the Nickelodeon section? So we have here, as you can see, Cousin Skeeter from the Nickelodeon show. Cousin Skeeter right there. We've got a little Nickelodeon blimp. Pretty funky. We've got some little cat dog toy that uh, is slightly dysfunctional, but still looks great on the shelf. We've got the Cat Dog VHS, and a lot of Nickelodeon VHS, as you can see. Got the Rugrat Santa experience out for Christmas, since it's still December. Rugrats, the house that Chucky built, and it even extends over to here. With the uh, we got Rugrats toys from McDonald's, Burger King. I love the Burger King and McDonald's toys. Those were always so cool. And I really love what uh, McDonald's did recently with the retro throwback toys. I was getting some of those as well. And we also have to touch on this Finders Keepers board game kind of thing here. Not really a board game, but it's definitely a game. And it came in a box. And it's Nickelodeon throwback style. We got some Spongebob here. You can put water in the top of his head and squirt it out of his freaking uh, mouth at people. We got some good old slime. Gotta have that Nickelodeon style. We got Spongebob the movie, Rugrats, a little thornberries and some books right above to match. So how about that? And can't exclude the good old Double Dare classic book right here really like this one that was a cool little thrift store find nice little 25 cent paperback well worth the quarter i spent on it that's for sure and how about that rocco's modern christmas hey what's up guys and we're back in the dungeon with my buddy peewee this is definitely one of my favorite pieces in the dungeon without a doubt I found this dude a couple years back at a nice little thrift store in Spring Valley for about, I think it was about $3, maybe two and some change, and uh, I've been stoked ever since. I mean, it doesn't, let me show you, he doesn't totally work, but let me show you what he does do. So, we'll set this right here for one moment, just so I can have both my hands free to do this. I'll show you what he does do. So, we're pulling the string here, we got it. And we have to let it come back in on its own or else it won't work. Or we have to guide it back in. Pardon me. Here, let's try it again. It's kind of like a demonic Pee Wee Herman. Here we go. That was the ARG. That was another arg. Let's see if we can get a, a, a phrase. <laughs> we're just getting, we're getting a lot of args here. Jesus. I know you are, but what am I? There we go. I'll take it. So that's what he does. He, he does that, whatever the fuck that is. And uh, I love him. Hope you do too. All right, so from here, we're just going to do a nice little brief overview of the shelf. 
the shelf VHS shelf section yeah so we're gonna get right up here where we've got a lot of gems up there we got the little shop of horrors trading cards we got the good old Beetlejuice clam shelly shell gotta have it ET paperback ET board game ET plush you know we got some funky rad dudes trading cards up there must have in every tape dungeon every man cave we got E.T. the movie of course we got a little wind up toy we even got E.T. cufflinks that's right folks E.T. cufflinks from 1982 alright how about that folks how about that and moving on down the line, we've got a Batman lunchbox from the 90s. Nice little Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy there. Turtles Mutations. Mutating Taka. We got some gargoyles, big box, and board game with a nice little standee card up there. We got Rad Dudes, the box. With some cards in there, of course. We got a lot going on here, folks. We got Land of the Lost. I used to love the 90s Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost, by the way. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. One of my favorite shows. House of Death. One of my favorite VHS cover arts right there. We've got Mutant League. That is a rad little toy right there. And I need to get those games. They're a little pricey, but I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta bite the bullet. Gonna have to do it. We got a Gremlins 2 toy. Some Chuck E. Cheese memorabilia right about there. Got the good old video lock. That thing is ear piercing as hell. I'll do a video with that coming up here soon. I did one on uh, Instagram a while back. It is deafening, that, that video lock. It really is. Nightmare VHS video board game must have. For every VHS collector and horror fan. And we got Reanimator on DVD with the cool little, you know, the cool little funky special box right there. So yeah, lots of cool stuff. Midnight video, yeah, you gotta zoom in on that. How about that, boy? How about that right there, boy? Ooh, the rats are coming, boy. The rat tails are coming. You better watch out. You better watch yourself. We got a nice little throwback transformer toy. We got all kinds of stuff. We got Crash Dummies plushes. We got Jingle All the Wazes. We got Stretch Armstrong. We got the Oregon Trail straight from Walmart. Portable. Good old Snowball in Prism. That is a classic right there. I really like that one a lot. Snowballing. Great little winter flick. Highly recommend checking that out around this time of year. If you could pick up a VHS, even better. Even better. Look at these beauties right here. These are some Catalina home videos. The Psychic by the late, great Lucio Fulci. One of my favorite directors of all time. Kick-ass Italian horror movie director. He did some other stuff. It was in horror too, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, he was a kick-ass director. I liked him a lot. And I believe there's a documentary coming out on him soon. I'm going to have to check that out. We also got Meat Cleaver Massacre here with some rad cover art to it. I'm trying to get around this glare. Ugh. Got those protective cases, so they really pick up that, that glare or something tough. But here, I think we got a nice little angle there so you can see what's going on there. Good old Halloween Ziploc bags from like 93 or something. I don't want to move them around to check the date, but it's sometime in the 90s. I really like the look of these things. It's not Halloween, but I keep them out all year round. Stack my Christmas tapes right on top of them. We got the Elvis. We got the VHS Wildlife Preserve. Shout out to the Wildlife Preserve on VHS Group. If you're not a part of it already, go ahead and send a member request we'll get you in there and we do free free giveaways all the time we just did a free giveaway of this right here 
The Rat Tail Christmas Spectacular Part 2, which me and Sinna Stalker just got down on, aka Sinna Santa. I'm really happy with the way this one came out. I really like the editing, how it came together. I'm editing on two VCRs, mind you, so there is a delay, but there's, you. I mean, you wouldn't know by the way it's edited, so... But that's something that I have to keep in mind when uh, when editing on two VCRs that there is a, like a two and a half second delay when I'm doing that. So it was it was something that took a while to get down, but I think I've I've got it down pretty well. And as I'm panning over here, we got the Christmas toy with a nice little Kermit the Frog blockbuster pl mini plush here from what what year is that? Was 1998 blockbuster? <laughs> yeah, boy. And we got the Christmas toy, a weird little Christmas special here. Jim Henson, official RoboCop 2. I love that movie. I think it's very underrated. I love the arcade scene, and I like those cards and looking mighty fresh next to that mighty fresh VHS copyright there, folks. Cut that little thing out of a magazine. I don't even think I did it right, but I don't care. It looks nice on the shelf, so I'll put it right there. Alright folks, I think that's, I don't want to give you too much, you know what I'm saying folks? So we're going to move on to another section from here, and uh, we'll see where we go. Alright guys, and we are back, live in the tape dungeon, and uh, here you are looking at my little Space Jam tower, or whatever you want to call it. Got some Space Jam goodies in there, got some Bugs Bunny goodies in there couple books couple VHS now this section of the tape dungeon is a little bit more crazy this is a lot of boxes stacked this is where a lot of my stuff should be in storage but we'll work out the budget for that in the future right now we're, we're working on some other things we got some things in the works people we're working we got Super Mario cereal there gotta have it got Cartman up there and then this is my Macaulay Culkin shrine you know what I mean? Here we go. We got Home Alone, the card game. It's kind of newer, but I thought it was decent looking at least. The game itself is meh, but I like the way it looks right there. You know, I'm obsessed with Home Alone, so my favorite Christmas movie pretty much. Up there with the, what's the other one, that French one? Here comes Santa Claus. That's my jam. This one, performed by Tim Curry, really rad. And then we got doubles of the... Home Alone Christmas GMs right there. We got a little Blu-ray Home Alone. Getting even with Dad and the book. Getting even with Dad. Macaulay Culkin and Ted Danson. I actually like that flick. I like a lot of... I like pretty much everything Macaulay Culkin was in. Love The Good Son. That's a great one. And right here we've got Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. With a beautiful cut box here. I think this was from Errol Video. Yep. Got the tag right there errol's video i love those cut boxes usually they would come in bigger red um boxes and i have a peewee's big adventure in one of those but i don't know where that went somewhere around here in the madness bill and ted's bogus journey soundtrack really rad just picked that up very recently from a thrifty was super stoked on that got my little will smith section and we've even got a tom cruise section we've got the tom cruise top gun bam gotta have it top gun Handheld, still working. I actually had to fix this. I cleaned out the battery pack. It was all like corroded. Brought it back to life, dude. Doing it. Still works. Look at that. We'll turn it off for now. We'll turn it off for now. And we've got the Top Gun soundtrack on cassette. A little Tom Cruise book, similar to my Will Smith one. And we got Classic Football. This is actually a remake from uh, like the 1999 or 2000, somewhere around there. And we got classic baseball i like that one much better that one's funner in my opinion both remakes of uh the old school originals from the 70s but they look great and i love them I'm, I'm a big fan i'm a big fan next up we have the amazing transplant now storyline to this one if you're not familiar with it is about a dude who gets a transplant from a rapist and the transplant is a dick so he gets like a rape dick and he goes on a raping spree because he's got this rape dick transplanted onto him a little bit crazy Pretty interesting uh, plot there, though. I never heard anything like that. Definitely unique. Love the cover art. And I need more electric video incorporated tapes. EVIs. Those are beautiful. That's my only one. At the basement up there, Voodoo Academy. Shout out to my boy Ryan Stanson for that one. He's a fucking G. 
We got Rat Tail Presents, Regurgitate, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, the OG Paperback, Hip Hop Phenomenon, check that mixtape out if you haven't already, those are both mixtapes I put out, Regurgitate's a little gory, Hip Hop's self-explanatory, how about that for a rhyme, okay we got Santa Claus, we got the Christmas shit going, Jackson 5 Christmas album, there's all kinds of madness, I really love this paperback right here, I know what you did last summer. With my I Know What You Did Last Summer tape right there. Nice and purdy. Nice and purdy. I'm sure Danny showed you this one in, in his video. You know, if you guys are familiar with Danny Sinistalker. But we're going to show it to you again. Because it's just that pretty. Bam! That's how that record opens up there. We come here, we come in here, we go like this, and bam! Cop this one for a buck down the street. Nice little thrifty. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's just beautiful, folks. Alrighty. Well, folks, that's it for my Tape Dungeon Tour. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys want to leave any comments below letting me know more what kind of videos you want to see in the future, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see something maybe you saw on the shelf that you want to see me review or, or get a better look at, let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see, you know, and if you like this video, definitely drop a like right here, and if, just let me know what you guys think. I love hearing feedback, and it's, and it's cool to interact with you guys and know what you guys think of these videos, so. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and see you soon.